हेलो सर गुड बैक टू एन आई स्पोर्ट सर ब्रिलियंट परफॉर्मेंस बाय सविता इन अ डेब्यू एट द वर्ल्ड रैपिड चेस चैंपियनशिप सो शी वन अप स्टेजेस ब्रॉन्ज सो हाउ वुड यू सम अप हर परफॉर्मेंस आई थिंक लाइक इट्स अ फंटास्टिक परफॉर्मेंस एज यू मेंशनड शी हैज फिनिश्ड थर्ड इन द वर्ल्ड रैपिड चैंपियनशिप एंड शी इज जस्ट 15 इयर्स ओल्ड and at a such young age she is able to perform at the senior level uh, world rapid championship uh, getting a bronze medal for our country so it's a very commendable performance really happy and so she finished ahead of many former champions gms and uh, the plethora of the world class players she just 15 years old as you said and would be turn 16 in just few days so how would you see her future yeah i think uh, this is a very good uh, platform to Uh, bring ourselves to the note uh, attention of uh, the world class players so she has used the uh, platform very well uh, by getting a bronze medal which was not uh, very easy and not uh, expected uh, because she started uh, much beyond in the initial seedings uh, more than uh, 30 so uh, coming uh, third ahead of uh, so many strong players and many former world champions is not very easy so very commendable performance and uh, i hope like uh, this will be um a yeah, motivating factor for her she will start believing more in herself and uh, make use of the confidence she has gained from this event to work even harder and improve her uh, playing strength that is very important for an upcoming player it's very important we don't uh, look behind and see what we have achieved and then uh, easy to lose focus on the path ahead of us so i hope uh, she will work even harder getting taking motivation out of this performance and achieve more things in the future and sir so 5 years back when savita came to you so how has been the journey till now for you and savita um, yeah she is a very um, how to say very uh, hard working and also her mental setup is uh, her strength like Uh, she is a very good fighter over the board and uh, that is her uh, main strength i would say she is very determined to get good results and uh, in a tournament game she generally gives her best and uh, one thing i would uh, like to see in her is like even in training she is able to give the same kind of hunger which she is showing over the board so there are two aspects in uh, improvement one is how we train and uh, generally the training Uh, it can become uh, quite relaxed because we are not competing with anyone and uh, uh, that should not uh, ideally happen and the other is uh, uh, playing in a competition and some players have seen like they work very hard in training but when it comes to the tournaments they uh, lose themselves under pressure and they can crack up and they don't perform to their potential and there are others who don't take the training part very seriously uh, but uh, when it comes to competition they really uh, give their best so ideally it should happen that both in training and in competition a player is able to give their best so they take advantage of both the opportunities uh, yeah that is something i would uh, like to see in her and uh, as i said her determination is uh, very strong she really want to get good results and in the tournament she played before this at kolkata she was feeling uh, overwhelmed by the strength of her uh, opponents and uh, she was telling me like in some cases her hands were kind of shivering uh, because she was playing so many strong players in a row so we went to isha yoga center to learn some meditation along with uh, pragnada vaishali and few other students it was a four day camp residential camp in coimbatore and i think that really and it happened just before the world rapid so she had to just leave the very next day to play in the world rapid i believe it kind of uh, helped her uh, realize the importance of being calm under pressure and sir did you had uh, any word with savita before or after the competitions um, and what uh, if uh, yes what was the conversation i mean before the tournament like i was just uh, telling her like it is very important like uh, when when she was saying like i was not able to play freely during the tata steel rapid and blitz i have just told her like uh, we have to take a important decision that going forward i will try to be not overwhelmed by the strength of my opposition I, and we should just simply focus on irrespective of the strength of our opposition we have to give our best and that is where we have to keep our focus on and this was before the tournament at uh, kaimutur and after the tournament we were just uh, chatting on uh, whatsapp congratulating her 
really happy how things have turned out for her and sir arjun also finished fifth in the in this event and but took down five candidates um, richard apport anish giri mvl alexander grischuk babadiyov so your thoughts on arjun's performance and his rapid rise to 122 yeah arjun has been uh, having a phenomenal year in 2022 uh it started with uh, tata steel challengers where he won the tournament by a huge margin i believe 10 out of 13 was the score or 10 and a half of 13 so he started the year with a bang uh, winning a very strong tournament ahead of uh, clearly dominating the event throughout and uh, ending the year also in a very very good performance uh, so i'm not really surprised uh, with how he did in the world rapid uh, i wouldn't have been su- surprised even had he done it even better um on the last day like it was uh, like he was winning one game losing one game so there were more losses than expected but i think he is also um, a very good potential for india uh, possibly a future world champion so there are uh, three or four players who are doing extremely well uh, all below the age of 20 and uh, we are uh, relying on at least one of them to get the world title for us and uh, last couple of questions sir and so it has been a great year so far in the indian chess uh, arjun vishali win the title savita resetty uh, yesterday won the world rapid chess uh, bronze medal and we won the medal set the chess olympiad so uh, and many more in this year so is this the best year for indian chess so far i think i wouldn't uh, want to call it the best year in the year so far uh, because of uh, the covid lockdown uh, Uh, chess has earned uh, much more uh, media attention uh, since the lockdown um, chess, chess kind of became uh, an e sport uh, which has become extremely popular online and also thanks to the queen's gambit series in uh, netflix which really made the game yeah. popular in western countries in us and uh, europe so there is a large uh, audience online which has also raised the profile of the game more people are aware and showing interest in uh, chess which was not the case before uh, it was relegated to only the chess community but people outside of chess communities also are also paying a lot of attention and sharing a lot of interest in what is going on in the chess world so there is a lot of attention to the achievements our players are getting now post lockdown so we have also had a few good years before but yeah uh, individually like uh, the rise of uh, players like arjun ergay si gukesh uh, pragnanandani hal sarin and these four players uh, among the men and also savita and vaishali among the women it has uh, they have uh, managed to achieve a uh, lot of glory for our country at the international arena so and uh, what is more heartening is all these are uh, youngsters uh, most of them are uh, in their teens except vaishali who just uh, became 21 so mm-hmm. such young brigade uh, performing f- uh, so well consistently at the international arena that gives a lot of hope uh, for the future one last question sir magnus carlson also won his fourth rapid chess championship so how would you see his performance and what can upcoming chess player learn from his consistency one thing is like is uh, very um, strong mentally he believes himself he backs himself fully and uh, he has a capability like even after a loss he is able to come back and win so on the final day he lost uh, he had a one point lead over all others and he lost uh, after a blunder and uh, a normal player would have cracked under uh, having dominated the field and then losing unexpectedly uh, like against artemiev uh, most players would have collapsed and finished third or fourth i wouldn't have been surprised but magnus came back immediately with a win and uh, ended the tournament with a win and won the title so just is extremely determined he knows he is the best player in the world right now and it, he wants to prove it in every tournament he plays and uh, that kind of hunger and motivation is uh, very rare and he's also you know, I, in my view like he's the best chess player ever in all formats of the game and i just hope that he will uh, continue to play for many more years and take the game to the next level okay, and thank you so much sir for giving us your time sir and all the best for the future sir yeah thank you very much thank you sir